Good morning, guys. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. It is uh, Monday morning. It's Monday. <laughs> Sent Christina, Duncan, and Ellis off to their daily grind as per usual. Uh, I've already gotten myself ready, although I did not shave. As I talked to you guys about the other day, I'm planning to do Movember, November, No Shave November, something like that. No Shember, I don't know what you want to call it. Of all of those ones that I've looked at, the one that I've decided upon is actually noshave.org, no-shave.org. I've got a dashboard out there. I'll go ahead and put the link down in the description. It's not November yet. What I'm going to end up doing, it's October 31st right now. I'm going to shave tomorrow morning, first thing, and then I'm not going to shave again except for like this area. <laughs> until the end of November, and I'm gonna be making sure in all of the vlogs to, to put links down in the description to my page. If you wanna go donate to, to charities about cancer research, absolutely go do so. I might also make mention of it in the main channel videos, just you know, as, as an aside, by the way, I'm not fuzzy for no reason. I'm doing this for cancer research. I'm doing this because I wanna grow a beard again also, but you know, just to sort of shout out the charity and to, to help it out a little bit. And anyway, it is Monday morning, and as you can see, I've got my new hoodie on. If you can see, I don't know how much you can see. This is not terribly wide angle, but that means that I'm getting ready to head out the door to go into the office for a couple of hours. And that's a bit of a drive, so I gotta get an early start. Hooray! And you know what? Skipping right on past the morning. I'm just, suffice it to say, it was not a great morning at work. We'll just, we'll leave it at that. Stopped by the outlet mall on the way home, picked up a couple of pairs of jeans because one, I only have a couple of pairs of jeans to begin with, and two, the pair, one of the pairs of jeans I had that fit, both of the pockets ripped gigantic holes in them. So Christina tried to patch them and it just, it didn't work out. So just went and picked up a couple of pairs because they were on sale. They were a lot cheaper than they normally are. So I'm good with that. But I definitely have to get to work. I have so much stuff I have to get done and I have no time. So I'm just gonna get to it. Well, that is insanely frustrating. By the way, much later in the day. It's already almost four o'clock, maybe after, I don't know. So before Duncan got off the bus, I had been working on day job stuff all of the afternoon. I've been walking on the treadmill and whatnot. Before Duncan got off the bus, I said, you know, I've got a few minutes here. Let me just stop. I've got a couple of videos I need to go ahead and make. Sat down, knocked them out very quickly, or at least portions of them. Got them over to my computer to edit them to find out the audio was screwed up again. My own fault, I'm sure. I've been blaming everything on myself today, so that's, that's sort of where I am. I did some checking around, I did some testing, and I don't know what it was. I think maybe just the connection got weird or something between the microphone and the camera. And I've been saying this for so long, I need a backup audio solution. So I kind of orchestrated one. This is what I've got set up for now. What I had before, I have this really weird friction arm here. You can see it over here. It's got the arm that comes around to a, a tripod mount. And I had this microphone on the end of it before, and that was it this microphone plugging into a long cable that goes over to my main camera. Single point of failure. So now I've got this two tripod mount slider arm on the friction arm, and I've got my old Rode video mic here mounted to this arm. It's actually plugged in directly to the camcorder, so I have a second audio source. And I'm super tempted to bust out this Tascam DR05 that I've had for years that has never failed me put it somewhere in the middle, just so I do have a recorded copy of the actual good audio. I actually will probably end up doing that. Just gonna go ahead and admit that right now. Because I'm sick and tired of audio problems, I'm sick and tired of the camera just stopping recording for some reason, and more often than not, the reason that I'm not making videos partially is because of motivation, of course, but the other part, the bigger part, is because the gear fights me. The gear fight, and that goes straight back to Casey Neistat and, and what he always says. The gear is supposed to be a tool. The gear is not supposed to get in the way. When the gear gets in the way, the movie, the video, the whatever you're making gets broken. That's not how he phrased it, but you know, that's the way that I put it. The, the, it gets ruined. You ruin whatever you're doing because of the gear. So don't let the gear get in the way. And it is very much getting in the way for me right now. Now, it's very lucky that one of the videos that I shot, well, actually, okay, it's very lucky in two ways. The first video that I shot, the audio was bad, but it was not bad enough that I can't use it. I think it's still okay. The second video, the audio was so bad, I am going to have to redo the entire thing, but luckily, it was for the Nest camera, and the Nest people actually sent me two cameras, so I have a second one that I can unbox, so I'll do the entire unboxing again as if it were the first time. I am going to have to do some test clips and everything. I'm going to... I don't know. I'm just gonna give up for right now is what I'm gonna do. <sighs> and hooray, everybody's home. We've had our dinner and everything, and actually it's almost time, actually it is time, to get the boys ready in their costumes for Halloween. Trick or treating. Hey, Woo, trickings and treatings and Ellis has got his Halloween-y stuff on today. My first Halloween. <laughs> Duncan's kinda, he's got, yeah, he's got bones and skulls all over his shirt. Very spoopy. Ellis says, "Wow!" So let's get changed. 
And there we go. We got boys all dressed up, ready to go. We took some pictures. I'll go ahead and show some of those here in case you're curious. And everybody's ready. And I've got my Pokemon Go ready, of course, because, you know, lots of steps and lots of catching. Oh, they're going up to their first house. Trick or treat. Christina's just pushing Elsa through in the stroller. Oh, that's frustrating. There's a vehicle driving around with kids in the back of it. Well, Ellis didn't last very long. I think he went three or four houses. <laughs> but they're having fun. Got lots of candy. Woo! So 90% tax for me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and look at the last remnants of sunset over the lake here. So nice. But we're moving on. And there's the crazy horde we kind of expect for our neighborhood. Wow. Lots of people. And blurry, but there you go. Lots of people. And we've made it back. Our friends took off and uh, they're sorting through the spoils of war. Christina's teaching him a very valuable life lesson. After trick-or-treating, you've got to sort the candy into different piles. <laughs> That's the OCD in her coming out. See, when I was growing up, we sorted it into piles of I like this and you like that. And she sorts it into color, shape, size, no. style. Kit Kat, Twix, chocolate's on this side. Yeah, but they're specifically being sorted by which or which and which. Suckers. Suckers. Yeah. Twizzlers. And Duncan is, of course, reverted back to Sunday mode. Starbucks. And Ellis is still asleep in his stroller. He just slept the whole time. He got a couple of pieces of candy, although he won't be eating it. There we go. Her sorting is complete. It's not quite as OCD as I would expect from you, but it's That's almost fast. there. It looked at me like three minutes. Yeah. Hey, this is like 35 you minutes later. This is chocolate side. This is I got Ellis up. I made him wake up. He's mad. He says, where's my candy? Did you steal it, Mommy? His candy's in his room. She stole your candy. She ate every bit of it. Here you go. Oh, but Miss Donna, our, our neighbor, made up special treat bags for the boys. I don't think he's going to be eating that, but... Uh, he can try that's okay. this. Says, that's for me? Oh boy. Which one first? Let's take the box, put it in the mouth. Don't put that in your mouth, please. That's the only thing in there that's not candy. It's <laughs> not edible. So don't eat that. Well, he's loving that no, tattoo box. Christina says I need to let him try the oatmeal cream pie. Hey yo. You hey try yo. It? You bite? Bite? Little bite. Oh, bite? You could have a bite of the cream. You gonna try it? You gonna try. He's <laughs> trying for a gigantic bite. I don't know how to bite it. Hmm. Hmm. Some more. <laughs> oh no. A monster oh, has no. been created. <laughs> oh no, he got a bite. Uh-oh. Did you get a good bite? Come mush it and mush it up. Hmm. <gasps> so you didn't share earlier. Give. Oh, buddy. You just became his best buddy. Baby's probably not supposed to eat these. No. We'll just give him a couple little bites and that's enough. Yeah. That'll be his Halloween treat. Is that yummy? He has oatmeal in it. Yeah, that's certainly good for him, right? It's oatmeal. And it's it's sugar. <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> and it is much, much later. It's already 9.45 p.m. The boys are in bed. Christina's actually in the kitchen doing something on her laptop, getting ready to go to bed. She's been checking the locks on all the doors and everything. That last little scene, apologies for all the, the focusing there. It was, the camera was on autofocus and it was having trouble focusing on Ellis, but absolutely adorable. In the aftermath, I really wish that I would have caught on camera. This, it was his first sort of real sugary thing that he's had other than just baby food, which is not really sugary. So about 15 or 20 minutes afterwards, I took him upstairs to change into his uh, night clothes, into his pajamas. And Duncan was just getting out of the bath and he was going to brush his teeth and everything. and. Ellis just kept like, fidgeting and spazzing out, and it was extraordinarily cute and actually kind of scary at the same time. And after he had his, his last bottle of the night and everything, we were getting ready to put him to bed, he just, it took a long time to wear off, a lot longer than I really expected that it would. And he only had a couple of teeny tiny little bites of 
oatmeal cream pie, and either way, it's all said and done now. He completely passed out after a little while, and he has been pretty firmly asleep since then. So, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, because I am pretty wiped out after earlier. I, I had some foot pains, and I'm glad to be back home and sitting and resting now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you had a happy Halloween, if that's something that you celebrate. We will see you again next time. Bye, guys.